Welcome to the end of the world, everybody. The doomsday clock is officially at 100 seconds to midnight. This is the closest it's ever been in history. Even during the Cuban Missile Crisis, the atomic clock or the doomsday clock was only at 120 seconds. So, and we really thought we were on the brink of annihilation back then. But today it's only at 100 seconds, today it's at 100 seconds. So should it be 60 seconds, 30 seconds? Is this what mainstream media wants? Is this what cable news wants? Is this what American politicians want? It seems like it, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel like all the news, all the politicians are really, you know, rallying for war with Russia? You know, they keep saying that we can't get involved in this Ukraine crisis because they have nuclear missiles. Well, we've been involved with plenty of countries that have nuclear missiles, you know, where we've gone to, you know, uh, where we've had incursions. So this is nothing new. What makes us think that, you know, Putin is going to go push the button? They keep calling him a madman. They keep calling him out on, you know, on all the news channels. They're constantly just poking the bear, literally. Is this what they want? Again, it sure feels that way to me. I mean, I, I, I don't know if it's, uh, that it feels like it sweeps week, or if this is a ratings war, you know, for the for CNN and Fox News and MSNBC, but it's just every day, twenty four seven, as if there was nothing else going on in the world. Is this unbelievable? What's happening over in Ukraine? I don't know. It depends on how you look at things. Again, I try to stay in the middle of this. I'm not a pro Putinist. I'm not a anti Ukraine. I, you know. Over here, we're so far removed from these things, but it's being force-fed down our throats that, that we should care, that we should be involved. Yet there are plenty of atrocities going through, on throughout the world, and nobody seems to care or be talking about those. They're not sexy enough. They're not white enough. That seems to be the case. It's just a bunch of white people that look just like us. So this resonates with us. That's what we're told. This has got to stop. We've got to be able to find a way through diplomacy to find a peaceful resolution for this. We have to be able to open up a door somehow for Putin to be able to escape from this, to pull out and, and find some kind of peaceful resolution. I don't know what that is. I'm not a politician. I don't understand, you know, these, uh, foreign, uh, politics and, 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 and again, you know, based on what we're told. Who knows, you know, what is the truth and what is it? What, what isn't? It's so hard these days. The, the lines are so blurred, but it's just constant, constant, constant. You know, and with Russia now, you know, defaulting on their foreign debt, where we're trying to, you know, bankrupt this, this nation, are we then, when this is over, are we then going to have to come in like, like the United States always does and bail out another failing country? Are we going to have to send money over there now? you know, take away from us and what we need to do here in America to take care of our citizens, but keep sending money to these foreign countries because of their own mistakes. This is not sustainable. We can't keep living like this. We can't keep doing this. And then on the right, you have, you know, the, everybody's saying that this is just a way to deter us and our attention away from everything that's failing you know, in, in the Biden White House, that they're not, you know, having no policies uh, being pushed through. Nothing's happening. We're not any closer to any of his goals that he set for himself as the president. So that's always what seems to happen whenever war breaks out is we'll just, oh, well, now nobody's focusing on those things. This is dangerous. This is dangerous when you have all these politicians, all these congressmen and senators constantly on, on Twitter we're constantly on, on all the media channels pushing and clamoring for war. And you have these old war hawks that are on, like I said, CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News, and, and it just really almost every channel, you know, where they're giving you their, their play by play, like their color commentary uh, on, on the war. This is not a football game. This is very serious. And all it is is just conjecture and speculation. All they're telling you is, this is what I think might happen, and it's never what happens. None of these guys have been right. Everything that they say that they think Russia's going to do is it always ends up being the opposite because they don't know what the hell they're talking about. You know, 
Putin's not out there telegraphing every move like we do. I don't know why we constantly do this. I don't know why we, we constantly put politicians in front of cameras in every incursion we've ever been in where there's been television and you have some idiot out there who's like, well, this is what our plan is. Like really with the satellites and you know television everywhere nowadays, you don't think our enemies are able to watch these things and go, oh, well, they plan on attacking there. Well, let's move over here. I mean, it's, it's absolute lunacy. They keep making Putin out to be some madman, but they're, our politicians are the ones who are acting like complete nut jobs. Act like you're a statesman. Act like you've done this before. Keep your mouth shut. This is why you guys have these private meetings, you know, where you go down into the bunker and talk about these things, right? And what we see on every TV show and movie, where they're all sitting around a table and you've got all the generals and people from the Air Force and Navy and all this, and you have all your intelligence analysts, you know, briefing you on what they know. I'm sure that's happening, but don't come out with Anthony Blinken and all these other guys and tell us exactly what your plans are. We don't need to know. There are some things we as citizens in, in this country don't need to know and definitely don't need to be telegraphing to our enemies. I don't know. What, what are your thoughts on this? Do you feel like we're getting closer and closer to the end? Are we poking the bear? Is the eagle poking the bear right now? That's what it feels like to me. And, and I don't know why they're doing this. I don't know if this is because the midterm elections are coming up and everybody's just posturing. You know, and, and is the media just constantly playing this stuff on a loop because they think they're getting ratings? Well, everything shows that they're not. Everything shows that their ratings are down. People are watching other things. YouTube is a better source for news right now than any place else because you have so many great independent journalists who are reporting there. You've got Crystal and Sager. You know, you've got David Pakman. You've got Jesse Dollimore. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. You know, Sam Cedar. Uh, you know, Kyle Kalinske, uh, Matt Taibbi, you've got so many other people out there that are actually reporting you the truth versus all this hyperbole from the networks just so they can, you know, sell commercial advertisement. It's insane. I don't know. Let, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you, are we getting closer to the end? Is this a farewell pretty soon? Are we pushing Putin to, to the brink of annihilation? where he's just going to push the button where he's like, I, I've lost, I have nowhere else to go. And this is going to be his, his suicidal moment. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment down below. If you enjoy my content again, as always, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'll talk to you next time.